Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Welcome everyone to the Sloppy Joes podcast on Friday. No, stop that. Uh... Make sure you like and subscribe and all that. Yeah. Apparently, I, I'm not speaking too well. Mm. And I know this has been brought up at the, uh, once before, but I think it might be in a patron exclusive, uh, yeah. patron special. Go and find us. Where I don't say welcome, I say sort of welcome everyone. Yeah, you, you meant to say welcome everyone, and you say sort of welcome everyone. But this is off the back of you. Also, instead of saying potato, you say potato. This is a, a trend with you. And. Well, the wonderful Ethan James. Oh yes, uh, hello everyone. I'm here. You've spotted Simple another that. flaw in me. Oh yes. Um, when I was editing the footage the other day. Footage. <laughs> like like he's been trying to catch it. The Blair, it's the Blair Witch <laughs> Project. <laughs> what is this? It's not like paranormal activity. Also, is it? if we can just <laughs> replay that, Joe just said Blair Witch Project. <laughs> <laughs> What is it that I do wrong, Ethan? <laughs> you, and this, now you notice it, you can't not unnotice it. So like, no. welcome everyone I spot all the time. And obviously potato, the bees and peas. Yeah. <clears throat> it's more than just potato. We thought it was a cute little thing with potato. Like, he, I've got a clip here, I'll insert it. Here's you saying, that something's perfect. Chinese restaurant's not that great, but getting it delivered to your house is perfect. That's what I'm going for. That's my top three. <laughs> Can you send it to us? I'll yeah. send it to I you. Send it to me. I generally, I generally don't now. know. I generally don't know what sort of me. My bees and peas have always been a trouble all my life. Have they? O always, always. Like I still don't quite understand why or how. But I, I guess, <clears throat> obviously, speaking out loud and having your words analysed. It shows that I do speak wrongly. Mm. It's bad, that, isn't it? Yeah. It is and now every P word or a B word, is it only P's that get me? Yeah. Maybe the B in my mind is overtaking the P. Well, they are quite similar, the but and the P. Yeah. yeah. Both in terms of how they look written down and in terms of how you say them. Yeah. They're quite similar. But I don't often get a B word mixed up. Like, I never call you a, a pastard. Well, I think the, th well, the thing is... <laughs> And no offence to you, but if you look, imagine a pea in your head now, right? Yeah. Give yeah, it a little. Give it a little beer belly. Oh, he's a fucking cheeky bastard. It's a bee. Maybe that's why you so like it. You think so I drink that much beer? I've changed the fucking letters of the alphabet in my mind. Yeah. What a fucking. A what, bee is just a chubby what bee. A, what a load of shit. Are you sending me this, Ethan? Oh, I don't have it. He's not right. that good of a producer. He he'll said he's got the clip and yeah, he's going to no, send no, it now. No, no. At the time of recording, you just he's said like, yes. I'll send it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will. He's full of shit. Right, well, what an I don't absolute know. shambles. <laughs> anyway, here's the thing. You know it's happening. Yeah. Maybe you can address it. And also, even if you don't address it, so what? Yeah, because just only you pick, pick up on it, really. No, I mean, no one's that arsed, are they? No, no one's because it's a bit shit. Anyway. No. Uh, hope you're doing good. Right, I've got loads to go into, including uh, one of my favourite podcast clips of all time. Mm. I wonder, can I, uh, can I play it? It made me laugh a lot because of just how stupid it is. But, um, let me play it to you if I can. This is a would you rather question that has gone viral recently for all the sort of wrong reasons. And we get this comment a lot sometimes on the Twitter, uh, the TikTok trolls say not everyone should have a podcast. And I kind of agree with them sometimes, especially when there's a story like a question like this. Someone had a gun to your head and he said to you, right, we'll shoot you unless you do under thousand babies. But you'd find a way to do it. A hundred. Thousand burpees. If someone had a gun to your head and said, I'll shoot you, unless you did a hundred thousand burpees, he went, You'd find a way to do it. I'm sorry, but that's wild, isn't it? Is that? That's not right. You, he's basically, he's like one of those, so he's trying to like, he's trying to like say nothing's ever impossible, but a hundred thousand burpees. A hundred thousand is incredible. You won't be able it's, to do it. It's of course you couldn't. It's impossible. Burpees for me, I don't even know what the, all I can think of is burping. Yeah, that's what you call it when you've got a bit big 
bit of a bad tummy, isn't it? I've got yeah, the burpees. I've, go, I've ate too much masala. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> got so you got the little burpees. But also, over what time period? It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. Like, this you, guy's you, got a gun you, to you. Even if you did them non-stop, let's say you're doing, how long does a burpee take? Five seconds to do one? I've got an idea. Times that by 100,000, you're going to be there for a week. True. When you, you go down, and then one, you just, so maybe a number like 120, no, maybe 222, you're getting a bit tired and you're going, oh God. Sure. But you have that bit of energy just to pounce up really quick. Yeah. And then when you pounce up, you knock the gun. Nice. And then, yeah. and then you, you hit, get the gun, you save yourself maybe 99,800 burpees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you say to him, now you're going to do some fucking yeah, yeah. burpees. Who do you imagine? 200,000. But the problem is, mm. you just do it. Who do you, you imagine holding the gun? In my head, I don't know why, but it's... Oh, I can't remember what it was like. What? Because I know who it is in my head. Who is it? Joe Wicks. <laughs> Yeah, and he, yeah. and he's and everything's just sense. come crumbling down on him a little bit. Yeah. It, money's he's making a lot of money now, isn't he? You know, do you remember those days where you used to do lockdown sort of PE lessons? Um and I think he's just gone a bit strange. It's turned into a life of crime. And now he's just trying to find chubby people and make them do a hundred thousand burpees or deaf. Yeah, because he re he realised that it wasn't the people getting healthy that he liked, it was fat people being in pain. That was the thing that really got Joe Wicks, you know what I mean? Going yeah, yeah, under the yeah, bonnet, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's but, what he yeah, liked. I'm he sure. liked chubby, chubby strugglers. Yeah, he did love chubby strugglers, didn't he? He used to love spying outside the old KFC. Yeah. You've seen really big people just struggling just to lift up that. Just find it difficult, kit. and that's what he likes. So now he does it. He just cuts out the middleman, gun to head, hundred thousand burpees, or oh, you fucking done. Yeah. Awesome. Or uh, Anne Robinson from Weakest Link. Yeah, I think I can imagine uh, quasi Quarteng there as well. No, he had sort of had a gun to the head of the uh, of the economy, didn't he, for a while? Mad, yeah. <laughs> well, for not very long. Yeah. Satire, eh? uh, right, so Friday tree, uh, lots of the big stories of the world happening. Yeah, uh, can, I, can I tell you something that's happened to me? Sorry. Yeah. I I, I think I d this week took part in the worst handshake of all time. Okay. Do you know like I don't I, I know women h shake hands as well. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell, I didn't know that. Are you messing? <laughs> yeah, of course I'm messing. Sorry. You went, I do, I know women shake hands like we were in this 50s. No, but. And it was like, do you know, if you heard this, women shake hands these days. I went, what? <laughs> you, you was. <laughs> no, you, but what I'm saying is, often you'll be at a, a gathering or whatever. If, if it's business. <laughs> Obviously, if it's business, no. <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> if it's business, everyone's shaking hands, of course. Yeah. But often when friends are meeting, you don't usually see two female friends shake hands when they meet. No. But I might give you a handshake or whatever. Nice. And obviously, like I said, women do shake hands, but it's something that I think men shake hands more often for more of their greetings. Do, what do they do more, hug? Is that what you think? You might say a hug. Yeah, I think the hug is probably more common. And I wish the hug was more common for men, but it isn't, we hug. Anyway, so we're all, we're, we're, we're simultaneously, I think, as a, as a nation, very used you to see, shake. Oh, this is it. You know, I've not picked him up on it. I've not picked him up on it for a while. You give me like that. Oh, Joe's yeah. big statement. I've had a grace period. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen here, but the nation's been brought into Joe's story. And it's crazy for me. As a nation, we are all... What? You, even you we're are questioning all, no, it. We're all simultaneously in this position where we're all really used to giving handshakes. <laughs> right? But at the same time, like... I would say 30% of handshakes go a little bit or very wrong. Uh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like you'll either yeah. do that thing where you'll grab just the front of someone's hand uh. and it's not, and you go, oh, fuck, I can't then readjust and get, because really what you want is meat on meat, not that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want that touching yeah. that and really lock in. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you'll go too early and you'll just grab the fingers. Oh, yeah, awful, That's awful, terrible awful. when that happens. Also, sometimes someone will go for that handshake, the sort of 45 oh. degree one where you're kind of coming across Cook like that. Yeah. And then do you go in like that or do you go oh, in for yeah. that? And then sometimes when you've got the 45 degree handshake, people go in for a pat on the back as well. Do you engage with that or is that too... Like, it's weirdly unregulated to say how often we're expected to do it. And I think I would say 30% of handshakes go wrong. Now... I have never had a handshake go as wrong as this one did. I met a boy called Desmond. Desmond? Yeah. Wow. It's a rare name. It's a, it's a, it's a high value name. Yeah, of course it is. 
He was in the street and he recognised me from nice. uh, Stretford Paddock, yeah, which yeah, is great. I love yeah, that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very nice to see you, Desmond. Now, I tried what to... What was his predictions for the game? He was an Arsenal fan. He didn't care. Oh, right. I thought he was going to 2-2. Two, two. No. Nice that. Well, you set me up. It's really good, <laughs> really good. <laughs> oh my god, brilliant. So we were chatting, and I went, "Oh, nice to meet you, Desmond." Now, as I've put my hand out to shake his hand, I've realised oh, his he right hand. Have one. No, he's got one, but it's completely full carrying stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, as I've gone like this. It's becoming clear to me he cannot return the handshake here. No. Because he's got like a shopping bag, he's got his coat over his arm, he's holding something in the hand as well. I fucked it. So I left it there. And then we entered the final proposition, which is the other one that happens that I didn't mention before. Sometimes people want to go for a fist, fist bump. bump. Yeah, yeah. So as I'm putting the hand out, he sees, right, we're activating hand mode. He comes with the left hand uh -huh. for the fist bump at the same time. Uh -huh. So I like this, and it ends up uh -huh. with I've got uh -huh. Desmond's fist in the palm of my hand. And for some reason, Desmond just started rubbing it. No, oh, down the road. He's like pestle and more in it. Oh. And down the road. I was looking in his eyes and he's looking down at me just pestling and mortar oh, in my hand. Man. And it was the most awkward moment of all time. Oh. And as we walked to him, oh, I see later, I was with Ollie, who's a, a producer of Trevor Pack, and he went, that's the worst thing I've ever seen oh. in my life. It was so fucking awkward. Just this. That's crazy. What's that? that is How did that happen? Do you know what? I can't, I can't stop thinking about it. It makes me feel physically... Oh. That is awful. Oh. Do, you know what weird, do you know what weirdly happened? To, to oh. me on uh, on a night out, um, and this was only a couple of days ago, St. Patrick's Day night out, which we will be talking about on the Big Tuesday episode, it was great. Do you know what? I've got a wonky shoulder? Do you know yeah. my shoulder's shy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, the one that dislocates. It dislocates. Yeah. Someone came up to me and said hello and did that one, and they did that one so hard, he was a big lad, it popped, popped my shoulder out. No. <laughs> and oh, I went, oh, and he went. <laughs> He thought he'd give me like a heart attack or something. It was all right at my shoulder. <laughs> sort of like knelt to the floor in this pub. And I popped it back and went, oh, be sound. It was this bad. St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, he was a big lad as well. Christ. He's got great, he's got like it proper connected. It sounded unbelievable. Well, then, but a force this sort of resonates it, through the whole bar. Oh. You should really check that out. Should I? It's not yeah, great, is it? I, Ethan, but you do awkward hands. Oh, uh, I've. I've, I remember one with it's horrible. I remember one with see me mate. I, I had a bad day, and I was walking back um, near the Salford Keys big roundabout on Trafford Road. Yeah. If you go there, you can still see a little plinth that says "worst handshake ever took place here." So that's why he's that's, so that's why he's referencing specifically which roundabout. And there. and this is like a year ago, and I had I had a really bad day, and I just. I didn't want to see anyone in the world. I just wanted to walk home. The bloody tram didn't go at the right stop because the other one broke down. So I just, I was walking along and then he, he saw me and went, oh, Ethan, mate. And I was like, oh, fucking hell. Now I live with Trish for many a year, so you wouldn't think it'd be awkward. But I was just feeling so not social. I was like, oh, sorry, tried to make conversation. He had his work colleague with him. Oh, no. And I was like, oh, yeah, hello, t hello to you, mate, as well. And then anyway, we got chatting. I went, all right, well, I'll see you later, Trish. Went for one ha one high five like this, and and um, he put out a, a fist pump, oh, so we okay. didn't do it. And then we we'll, we'll went back in for the normal one, and he changed. No. And then we went for the normal one, and we both agreed, and we missed hands. And I literally just openly said, that's one of the most embarrassing things I've ever encountered whilst it happened. That's and he went, different it, goes at it. He said it wasn't that embarrassing, but I looked at the guy, he was just looking onwards like, what the fuck? Like, he didn't see, he just bad. thought it was weird. I just, yeah. I walked and I thought, this day we, is awful. We need to sort out the handshake. We can't have one variation, two variations, yeah, three yeah. variations. It, and then there's always the one where sometimes I've had it before where I've gone for a handshake and someone's gone for a hug and all of a sudden your hand is like yeah, in yeah. the middle of a hug like we just need to work out what we're going to do every single time it's the handshake well, you know never the, anything else you know the hack with the hand clasp yeah you, you, what? to look to look at one's elbow if you look at the opposition handshaker's elbow opposition you, what is this you're going to fight afterwards you're going to connect 
What? If you, if you both look at the other person's elbow, the hands will clasp. You go, watch out for my shoulder. What are you doing? We're going to look at each other's elbow. Okay. And we're doing this. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> I mean, it always works. Go try even because I didn't commit to that because of my shoulder. We'll get a bit of range. Are we in shot? Yeah, yeah you're in shot. Oh, oh, just got it. It, again, it, it again. just got it. I'll cut that one out. No, don't cut it out. <laughs> no, it that again. second attempt was the worst <laughs> thing ever. Oh, that was awful. Joe's gone. Dr oh, he's left. He's left. He's just run out. I've, it's never happened before that, Ethan. Oh, no, I've never seen him run out the door. Right. I get any bands. Boom, boom. Play the feature. I get any bands. Boom, boom. Have I get got, any bands. Have you got a theme tune for this? No. Yeah, but it's on my computer. We, we, don't, have, we don't have one. I've never been sent. I've never played before. Why so have you sent it in? <laughs> it's a surprise. Have you actually done one? Yeah, I've actually done one. Is it a surprise? Is it, uh, is it just... The, the It'll be surprised to everyone, including me. The right, Adam's this family. is from. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> beat that. Just beat that out. Because he just said the name of someone who wants to be men. Oh words. God. The first right. Line of the anyway, email? he says please keep me in. Yeah. Right. He does say so. That bleep was uh, his name. But what do we what do we call him, Ethan? Uh, William. William. Uh, William says, hey lads, second time I'm writing in. And in brackets, I'm the guy whose friend was wanking in the woods. Oh, yes. And yes, it was confirmed. How was it confirmed? He, his mate must have admitted it, oh. unless he saw him off CCTV. I have a problem that you need to solve. Can we do a quick little recap of that story, just oh, yeah. from your memory? Go on, what, what happened there? A friend, two friends after the United game walked towards the pub. On the way, they picked up a guy who was acting shifty. The guy runs into... Who's a mate. Wasn't who's a mate. Yeah, 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 not just a, a, a straggler. straggler. Yeah. Uh, the guy was actually shifty. Went into the woods for about 10 minutes and they found him pulling his pants up. Oh. Yeah. That's a crazy story, isn't it? Um, I'm Brian. I have a problem. I was recently let go from a job where... Oh, this is just no, nothing to do with that one. This There's is nothing to do with wanking. Separate one. He's got a complete that, that one's... We fix that one. On to the next. Uh, I was recently let go from a job where I worked as a warehouse operator, and I'm dead certain my co-workers... Uh, were wanking in the trees? I'm dead certain my co-worker on the afternoon shift got me sacked because they really did not get along with me. Oh. I found myself sort of just letting him boss me around, my co-worker. Anyways, on the last day, he didn't even come in. How didn't he even show up for the whole week when I found out I was losing my job, so I was furious. So he's really up against it with his coworker. Oh, yeah. I logged into his inventory account okay, where illegal. we control warehouse all. stock. Good stuff. And that, and I, Gold <laughs> place. shit right at this guy. And that, and that's it's coming from me. Off. So he's jobless and he can't write. No, well, sorry, you get a job with us. You can do our subtitles better than I did. Um, uh, so I logged into his inventory account where he controls warehouse stock and I fucked up the whole inventory, boys. I regret this, and I know this was bad, but I was so mad. My full-time job was gone. Anyway, the incident was, te uh, was technically under his name because I logged into his account, so he got in heaps of trouble. Guys, what do we think? Am I the dickhead, or was I just going through a bit of a rough time? Um, I think... <laughs> I think we all of, know. Sort of we? unquestionably, you are the dickhead on this one. Yeah. Because, unfortunately, you haven't provided any evidence why you think your mate got you even sacked in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you've, you've, you've become suspicious or paranoid and based on no facts that we've seen, you've lashed out and tried to cost him his job, yeah, basically, by hacking all that. Um, the thing is, though, everyone has a spell where they're a dickhead. Everyone has times where they are the dickhead. Yeah. I don't think being a dickhead <clears throat> occasionally is the worst thing in the world. But on this occasion... I do think, you, you, William, you have been a bit of a dickhead. He's been a bit of a Have you ever tried to get anyone back at work, Ethan, or anything like that? Well, I was just thinking that there, but it it's quite difficult in this workplace because I am one of two. Mm. Yeah. So I can't really, you know, th throw it about. Oh, throw what about it? To put myself out there. No, I what mean. What are you talking about? What's going on? I'm talking it's about. It's not about back. trying to have sex with people you work with. We're well, about throw it about, put what yourself are you out about there. Throwing it about. Mm, yeah. Um, did you think we're asking if you'd ever slept with anyone you'd worked with? I've never. No, did you, th <laughs> did you think that's what we were asking? Well, I've, I've never... I've and ne why does it now seem we like are, you definitely are? Like the, now the pressure's on, your back's against the wall. Oh, uh, not one of these walls. Not for the first time. Uh, and, you know, you've never, you know... Well, oh, um, I'm not too sure about that one. Sure about but, what? 
Well, what, what I must say, um, I must say, he's just he's just gone into defence mode, but he's just starting sentences with little small yeah. phrases. I'm not sure about that one. I must say, he's playing for time. He doesn't know what he's, he's going to say next. He's playing for time. Go on. Uh, I think Williams in the wrong here. Yeah, you might Very be surprised to hear. He's found his base. Well, and the reason for that is he's 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 committed. Uh, would you say a felony or just a crime? A felony. Why would we say a felony? Isn't because we're nineteen sixties sort of tax evaders <laughs> yes. in America. Well, he's 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 a criminal. Yeah. It reminds me of the um, the post office scandal. Are you aware of the post office scandal? Yeah, yeah. Do you I know, know something? It. I'm actually not. I what? know there is one. I know there's a TV show about it. Everyone's talking about it, and I've just sort of quietly pretended that I. I've not said it, but I don't know what it is. It was like um, they didn't send like odd number <coughs> house letters for ages. They just aren't prioritised even numbers. That's absolutely not. <laughs> they did, didn't they? Even? No, it's not. It's right. If you send it, if you send something from number two, four, six, I could go, go on. Go on. You know we are, and two hundred. You don't always get them delivered. But oh, the odd the odd boys but and girls. What happened was the computer programmer who set it to just post into odd or even or whatever way around it was. Mm, it was actually him who done it, but the people who worked at the post office got blamed for posting it to the wrong numbers. And do you know why? Do you know? Do you know why? This isn't true. Because because the prime minister didn't know anything about it. What number is he? Ten. <laughs> so he, everything was getting to him. But he also, you know, that he also lives next door as well. Yeah, but number you sound, if, you, if you you just always knock on number ten, wouldn't you? <laughs> Leave, a little, Leave it in the blue bin out bit. front. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it oh, on the plinth with the microphone out oh, front, please. Oh, so that wasn't oh, it, but it's I, uh, sad anyway. Uh, I got someone back once because there was only two people to ever open a cupboard full of really expensive serving glasses, and I thought he's been a bit of a dickhead. So I lent one of the glasses by the door. Do you know when you sort of shut the door really quickly, so that when he opened that, the glass would fall. Did it work? No, I opened it. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right. You forgot. Five you forgot, minutes later, you? forgot. Such a busy day. <laughs> Smashed everywhere. Nightmare. Got yourself sacked. It was really you one of the, the Yeah, no, 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 I just cleaned it up quickly. Unbelievable quickly. stuff. Uh, right then, it's Ooh. time to eat some food. Yeah, have we got a one out of ten jingle? No, but. No, we don't. We should do. That's coming. Well, it could come soon because because today's one of those interesting ones where we don't know if it's going to be a one out of ten or a nine out. We should of play 10. the nine out of ten jingle. Yeah. Or the five out of ten one we got. No, we've not got a five well, out of ten. Feature, oh, right. Stop <clears> fucking <throat> trying to confuse me. Right, here is the nine out of ten club. Oh, sorry, five G's a bit slow. Oh, it's the wrong one. It's <laughs> the wrong one. <laughs> sorry. So it's, it's, it's not out it should be soon anyway. Hello? <laughs> so why is, why is it? Mm. Oh, that's definitely not out of ten. Definitely. 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 Oh, that is sensational! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want nine out of ten. Top three jingles so bad, by the way. Yeah, it's no. It's my thing in the world, but we can't listen to it now. Um, so <laughs> what we've gone for is what Big I, one today, big, big review one. today. This it, is a big review today. I think what we're about to eat is probably the most famous food of the last two weeks. It's been on... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? You know, the... You don't even let me fucking speak. <laughs> it's, been on, it's been on daytime TV in Lorraine. Oof, in it's, Lorraine? In, <laughs> I suppose it went in the mouth, didn't it? Came out of Lorraine about four hours later. It's been all over TikTok and YouTube. Everyone's talking about the Sidemen oh. bringing out a new flavour to their chicken shop. Wait, so what he, I didn't even know they had a chicken shop. They've got a chicken shop called Sides. So and do I they, think so it's pretty decent. So they don't serve main meals then, they just serve stuff like mac and cheese, balls, they just serve Yeah, chips. pretty much like that, but because they, you can make a meal out of the sides, you know yeah, what I mean? It's like deep fried tapas. Um, what? Sort of, everything's deep fried, isn't it? You oh can, yeah. Like, have a little oh place. sorry, I get it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but they brought out a brand new flavour, chocolate and fried chicken. Oh no. It is. Fuck off. Chocolate fried chicken. Ah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have brought to you oh, fuck off. chocolate fried chicken, which people are saying is apparently pretty good. Well, now, <clears throat> we should be the judge of that. Everyone's got one fillet, including Adam. Everyone's got one fillet and one wing each to get involved with the chocolate fried chicken. Let me have a look at this. Yes, Lou. You wanted some sauce on? No. Um, did I add sauce on? Oh no, I did. <laughs> 
What did you? Oh, I tell you what. Let's have a look. It Let's... doesn't look bad. Let's that does it? Smack a visual. Oh, oh yeah, no. What's You're up right. Here? It's assuming you don't mind the look of something that's been oh, shit no. and jizzed on. It looks oh. absolutely fine. Come on, stop being a muppet. Right, what's uh, which one have you got there? Have you got I tenders? Got, I think I've got tenders. Yeah. Ethan, come round. Here's a napkin for you. All right. I've just had a wing. It's interesting. It's not too. It's not too chocolatey. No. It's balancing the flavour well. Mm. I like the fried chicken. Can I try a tender? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna get the. Uh... I don't know what one this is, because there's just a lot of fried stuff on it. You can't really make it out. Oh, no, it's a tender. So you can. <laughs> Let me eat this rapid. Look at what chocolate sauce is there. Mm. Add more chocolate sauce. Right, that is a weird one. I don't know what to say. Because it's essentially like having a bit of a barbecue sauce in my mouth. You've still got... Well, it's quite a thick, and there's lots of chocolate sauce there. I have a little dip into yeah, the chocolate sauce know. by itself. Now, here's the truth of the matter. Yeah. It's not chocolate. Like, what do you mean? It is, I guess there's chocolate in it, but you taste that sauce by itself, it doesn't taste like chocolate. It's just a very, very mild, slightly chocolatey kind of barbecue sauce. Mm. And I think- That's the, the crucial element here because it's actually delicious. Yeah. But the reason it's delicious is because it doesn't really taste of chocolate that much. Yeah. Do you know I, what I mean? Yeah, there is, obviously there's a little hint of chocolate there. The colour obviously screams chocolate yeah. with that sort of sort of dark dark chocolate vibe. I think what they've also done is played into this. Me and you and everyone on TikTok eating chocolate fried chicken. Because I'll tell you what, Lorraine Kelly isn't stuffing inside herself on national telly. Oh. A barbecue chicken tender. No, she isn't. But a chocolate chicken tender, yeah. that might make you some headline news. Of so it's great marketing. And I tell you what, it's very nice chicken. Yeah. But it's not chocolate chicken. It's not chocolate chicken. It but is it's, nice. it's a decent chicken. It's a decent bit of I'd chicken. confidently say a nice seven out of ten for me. I would me. call that seven out of ten. I would try that again. Yeah. I'd like to see what else they've got on offer. The Louisiana sauce was very poor, but their secret sauce was very good. So I'm not trying to knock nice, them that's unilaterally. Sauce, yeah. I think that's very tasty. Seven, seven point five out of ten. It's not nine out of ten, but it's it's absolutely not. The sort not yet of awful. The stomach turning disaster that it could have been, and that's largely because it doesn't really taste that much like chocolate. Of course, Ethan. Ethan. Um, I'm a bit pissed off, actually. Why? Fuming. Well, I would have rather been disappointed, <clears throat> and would have rather had something that tasted all chocolatey, and I wanted to go, what the fuck? Mm. But it's not. It's not chocolate, is it? It's, really? I'm getting a little it, bit of hit. You no, know, there chocolate. is obviously chocolate in it, but when you taste that by itself, it's it's not a chocolate sauce. It's not like chocolate sauce like you think. No, it's more it's more barbecuey. It's a little bit of a thick sauce, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That gives you that sensation as if it were a, oh, yeah. a chocolate. And oh. I, yeah. I, I, I'm giving you that sensation by the looks of things. What's going on there? Okay. The chicken itself is all right. Mm -hmm. Um, the fried chicken piece was nicer okay. than the wing. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And you know what? The side men are doing all right for themselves. Yeah, it's not bad though, is it? No, In it's terms not. of all right. putting the like, take the chocolate. It's to be fair, it's they're playing on a gimmick and they've not really followed through with the chocolate. The food itself is actually quite nice though, isn't it? It does taste good. Yes. What's up, Ethan? He didn't want to admit it because he wanted to it, hate it. That's what it is. What he text did you get it. there? It stunned you. Oh, no, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You got a text, it stunned you. What no. was it? What did he say? Nah. Um, I, think, it off. I think it's a good 7 out of 10. Yeah, it was 7 out of 10. We've all agreed. I'll make he said it like he was going to say something week. different, but he didn't. He 7 didn't. out of 10. I'd give it a go, but yeah. I, it, it's not Choco Chico, is it? No, it's not. Uh, although what we're going to do next is Choco Chico. We're going for a lovely Chinese we together, are. aren't we? We're going to go for a Just little goodbye Joe's meal me. before I go yes. away for my little tour of Asia. But I'll be sending in little clips, little vids, little stuff in the podcast. So I might not be here in person. I mean, I'll obviously be here in spirit, but I'll also be here in person because of the videos. I'm going to go. I'm so ready for this Chinese. <laughs> yeah, me too. That has warmed you up yeah, so well. That just Let's got you the going. Dip, so. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Ethan. Tara. Good lad.